talked about getting healthy. What were you working on? Well, I mean, I've had a lot of problems with my back, you know, the last last couple of years. So um, that's been the, the major thing, you know. And uh, you know, it's been it's been feeling really good, but uh, definitely a lot of things have changed, you know, with, with my my form and my mechanics. Um, and, and that's been the biggest thing that you know I've been addressing, and the reason why you know I got to clean that stuff up. But it, it takes a lot of time, you know, to undo a lot of changes. You know, I mean, running is it's such a repetitive motion and when you're doing things you know a little funky or, or off it it really starts to you know ingrain in there and so you know a lot of this past year has been trying to, to undo a lot of that it's you know taking a lot of a lot of body work and you know working with different you know people that specialize in biomechanics and um you know weights everything so it's been a real comprehensive program but it's yeah, it takes time you know it's not something that just happens overnight I think your mechanics were contributing to your injury issues. I think they probably were, uh, you know, the result of yeah, being being hurt. You know, it's, can't can't move certain things. It uh, fundamentally changes the way that the rest of your body works. Do you look back to the same volume that you were doing in training? So you rebuild it back. To yeah, yeah. No, volume-wise, yeah, everything has been been really. Uh, similar to, to the past so uh, it's been, been good you know the last several months especially um, it's probably been the longest that I've trained consistently you know not having any races the one you know, positive about it is that I've had a lot of weeks of good volume you know going back months so uh, it was a little bit not frustrating but obviously I would have liked to race um, you know leading up to this but you know talking with Mike I think he thought that it's more important to just get in a solid body of work you know and, and we really uh, after New York last year, I kind of started from scratch again and took, took a lot of time to, to build that back up. The block in Flagstaff, like how much time was it? And like, I, I guess, whose idea was it? I mean, you were away from your family for a bit or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was there, um, I can't remember when I got there. It was in, in August. So I was there for a decent amount of time. Um, and, uh, you know, I actually brought it up to Mike, like training over there, and, and he was stoked. Like, he was really happy. You know, he said, oh, I've been waiting for this text. And, um, you know, I think that he had, he'd brought it up in the past, you know, going over there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it was just, I was at a point where I thought that, you know, it'd be great to, to be with him, you know, for having to see me uh, every workout. Because, um, yeah, it's, it's hard sometimes when you're on your own and, you know, we communicate a lot, but, you know, having a coach see you and be able to adjust workouts, you know, whether that's doing extra or, you know, cutting back on certain ones, you know, that's, that's huge. So... Being over there, and, and then obviously, you know, you've got the, the altitude piece of Flagstaff. Um, it's been great. So, for the person, if we watched your mechanics in New York last year, obviously, like, there were things yeah, that were wrong. Terrible. What, I guess, can you explain it to us with the common eye? Like, what could we have seen there that was wrong? And, like, this this weekend, I guess, is it corrected? Yeah, I mean, it, I still wouldn't say that it's, like, perfect, you know, but that's that's always the goal, you know, I'm always you strive for excellence in, in anything, but uh, it is significantly better, you know, just, you know, my hips, where where they are, um, you know, my whole body was kind of twisted up in a, in a nutshell, and so just straightening that all out, you know, where my left foot um, and my left leg, you know, just how they interacted with the ground and, and my, my right too for that matter, you know, it's just... You can't just single out certain parts of your body. It has to be looked at kind of as a as one whole thing. So, you know, if my right leg's doing something weird, that inherently is going to affect how my left leg's working. And so, um, yeah, it's just a big big process, you know. But uh, I think you'll be able to see a difference, you know. Hopefully, I think you know. I hate going back and looking at videos of myself running, you know, last year, two years ago, even in Eugene, and uh, I, mean, I was in a lot of pain just just walking around. You know, walking wasn't wasn't easy for me um and uh so yeah that's that's not there anymore so i'm thankful for that you know every day how much pain if, it, if any of you had in your training is that is there anything you feel, wanted to do that you haven't been able to do no i feel good yeah from a pain standpoint everything's been been really good yeah so has this been you think your best build up since chicago two years ago yeah yeah definitely um you know even back then uh you know, i was starting to deal with with some of this stuff but uh yeah, I mean, the last last couple of years have been rough. There's, there's no uh, we're kind of beating around the bush with that. Um, it's been been really challenging, but uh, you know, I think I'm starting to come out the other end, and that's the uh, that's the beauty, you know, of running. You know, and, and one of the things I remember Mike told me was, um, 
you know, in this sport, so much of it is just, it's about getting better, you know, yourself, like getting better every day. Um, and I don't have to necessarily compare myself to, you know, 2019 or 2012 version of myself, but as long as I'm better than a year or two ago, you know, that's that's really a lot of progress. And that's the approach I took ever since I got back from, uh, from the New York Marathon last year. Um, you know, I was a real big wake up call. I was a little bit hard headed, you know, keep trying to, um, push through a lot of this stuff and say like I could do it but you know you can't just be surviving everything you know at, at some point that has to switch to, to thriving really you know and, and how good can things be and for for a long time I was really just surviving and, and getting through workouts and um, yeah you, you just can't can't do that as an elite athlete. You at these major marathons go out with the leaders obviously to put yourself in contention for the win mm -hmm. there's this looming thing about the trials no spots being unlocked yet for the american men i mean does that change your race plan a bit i think there's a good chance that changes after this weekend um you know as far as the trials um but uh yeah i mean I, first and foremost you know i'm always pride of myself on running smart you know a couple of years ago i didn't go out with the leaders you know and um you know, i caught back up to them at I think by halfway I was back up and uh, you know ended up finishing second. So uh, you know I think that there's been plenty of races over the years where uh, you know the, my pride or wants me to say yeah I'm just gonna go regardless. But um, you know there's a difference between being aggressive and just being stupid I think. And so uh, you know being smart, running running a sound race, um, and executing is, is first and foremost. And you know it's the time that matters is the finish line. You know not not where you are, 10k in or, or halfway. Oh, I mean, certainly I'm thinking about the, the trials, you know, that's a that's a big one, you know, um, everything has been geared up for this, but uh, certainly in the back of my mind, you know, uh, after this, it's it's full steam ahead for next year, you know, it's going to be a, be a long year for sure, um, and it's a lot of added pressure, you know, next year when, when the trials come around, um, but, but I'm looking forward to it, you know, uh, Noon start doesn't bother me. Like I, I'm not a morning person. That's the one thing I absolutely hate about road running and marathon. Like I would much rather run at 11 or 12 than seven in the morning. So uh, that doesn't bother me one bit, you know. And uh, there's plenty of time to, to get ready for it, you know. Whether it's the heat, start time, um, you know, that stuff is something that we're all gonna have to deal with. And uh, so that's always been the, the, been the approach that I'm taking. Race in New York in March, the New York City Half Marathon. What stage of your recovery was that in? Like, are you a different runner than you were then? Yeah, yeah, that was that, that didn't go go very well at all. Obviously, um, and, you know, I think that you know, ironically, there was a I was doing some things better there, but it was still pretty early on in, in that whole process. With uh, yeah, just getting better and you know, things are very different from from March. <laughs> so Mo retired this year. I. <laughs> I guess we have, we have so many of like your former fellow competitors like kind of calling it quits. I guess for you, 2024, how are you looking at that? Is it like the final year or like no? Uh, I mean, we'll see. You know, I guess you never know. But uh, but I certainly think that, that I can keep doing this for a long time. And, uh, you know, again, it, it all comes down to health. And, you know, I think the way that I'm moving. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's still... When I'm healthy and, and running well, like there's no doubt in my mind that I can keep doing this for you know several more years at least. Um, you know, I think ultimately uh, LA would be pretty sweet. You know, to be able to run there, just having the Olympics, you know, in your home country is, would be unbelievable. So um, yeah, like my kids would be older. Um, you know, I think they'd be able to experience that, and, and certainly, you know, I think that that's where. Uh, when it gets closer to that, I guess we can start talking about when I'll start calling quits, but I don't have any, any plans of doing that soon. <laughs>